absolutely fantastic. Today we'll be reviewing the powerful fusion of Ultraman Taro and Ultraman Ginga, SH Figure Arts Ginga Strium. Ultraman Ginga Strium is a Tomashi Web exclusive that comes from the 2014 show Ultraman Ginga S. Let's jump right in, switch up the format, and start with the scale. Ginga Strium is in the 6 inch scale and fits right in with our other SH Figure Arts Ultraman figures, as to be expected. Ginga Strium also scales well with our SH Monster Arts and Super Robot Jagoken figures. Ultraman Ginga has a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right. The shoulders have a great range of movement. They can move in and out. We can also pull the full shoulder joint out, which is pretty cool. The arms can rotate a full 360 degrees. They can come up a little bit less than 90 degrees. The shoulder pads are on ball joint and hinges, so we can kind of tilt and spin these freely. We have an entire arm swivel. We have double jointed elbows. We have a swivel here in the elbows. The fists are on ball joints, so we can tilt and spin them freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. The legs kick forward this much, backward this much, come up sides this much. We have this pretty cool thigh pullout feature, which is very nice. We have a thigh swivel. We have double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. And then finally, the toes are articulated. To complement the fantastic articulation, Ginga Strium has a fantastic sculpt. The head sculpt is very well done here with a metallic silver paint app, metallic gold rivets, and our large angular translucent cyan accents. We also have a tiny green beam lamp in the center of the forehead. The eyes are large and translucent with a cool light reflecting compound pattern underneath. The body has a very muscular sculpt while Ginga's signature color pattern consisting of red and metallic silver paint apps. The signature Strium chest protector is very nice with metallic silver paint apps and rivets on the traps. The shoulder pads have a sharp sculpt trim with even more metallic rivets. On the left forearm, we have the detailed Strium brace with metallic silver and red paint apps on the band and body. We have a nice metallic cobalt blue accent in the center of the brace. I really love how the body sculpt turned out. The translucent accents are darker than our original figure arts Ginga, and also Ginga Strium has a more sturdy and solid feel to him, which is pretty cool. For accessories, we have three pairs of metallic silver hands that attach via ball joints. We have a pair of open hands, a pair of chopping hands, and a pair of holding hands. To show Ginga is running out of strength, we have a nice alternate magenta color timer. To cut down our foes, we have the Ginga Spark Lance with a gunmetal body, a detailed head with a metallic gold accent in the center, and very sharp translucent blue prongs. We see how fantastic Ultraman Ginga Strime is. Now, let's do a new segment and do some city building really quick. Ultraman Ginga Strium turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is well done, the paint-ups are crisp, the accessories are great, and Ginga is fully poseable. I absolutely recommend picking up Ultraman Ginga Strium. Now how much does this Tomashi Web exclusive figure cost? I imported my Ultraman Ginga Strium figure for $79, which isn't bad at all. Before we go, guys, I need you to do me a very quick favor. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about the new format of this review. I'm working really hard to make this content more interesting and more enjoyable for everyone. To see more SH Figure Arts Ultraman reviews or another absolutely fantastic review, click the links on screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more absolutely fantastic figure reviews. Be sure to follow me on social media, definitely follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next review.